The 19th edition of Red Bull Romaniacs revved back to life with a prologue party, Romania style. The good times were rolling throughout the qualification and into the finals, where defending Romaniacs champ Manny Lettenbickler battled 35 other riders, including Taddy Blazuziak, who returned to the series successfully with a second place finish. But it was Spanish sensation Alfredo Gomez taking the top of the prologue podium. Lettenbickler came in third. Now it's time to dive into day one of the rip roaring off road. Off road day one. Uh, we're about to start in about half an hour. Uh, feeling's good. It's always, uh, you know, this weird feeling, nerves and excitement and everything, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to get going. It's gonna be super tough. I've just uh, been looking at what we've got set out for us and we're gonna have a super intense day. I'm starting out first, so I think it's gonna be hopefully a good starting position. It's gonna be a hard day, so hopefully no one is catching up to me. It would be, would be the best scenario, but you never know. Boys are on fire. I start third, I choose third to try to catch the guys in front and hopefully not many dust. Today's race is 84 kilometers of mad moto action. It's a shorter track than most at Romaniacs, but don't let that fool you. It will take riders through the notoriously difficult section babysitter, not once, but three times. And that's just to start things off. Boys are just down there on the start line. Manny just pulling up. It's like one minute before the start. So, off-road day one. Coming at you now. Hope it's gonna be a cracker. Time for the old grip and rip. Manny Lettenbickler is first to take off. 20 seconds later, it's Taddy Blazuziak. And then prologue winner, Alfredo Gomez. Going third has its advantages. Gomez will watch the riders ahead of him, try to avoid any mistakes they might make, and then gun it for glory if and when the time is right. Right off the bat, it's clear that Lettenbickler has come to defend his Romaniac title with full force. Yeah, boy! Letting it rip! Like a barbarian barbarian. He's physically in first, but this race isn't about who's in front. It's about who gets the best time through various checkpoints. Right now, Lettenbickler is in the time lead, too. As riders find their rhythm, Mario Roman moves into second, while Alfredo Gomez follows in third. Gomez has been on the podium six times, Roman twice. Both are looking for their first Romaniacs title. People, I cannot tell you how hot it is out here, guys. Ridiculous. The guys have got to do this babysitter section three times. Another star of the sport, Taddy Blazuziak, has never made the podium at Romaniacs. Although he did well at yesterday's prologue, He's currently slipping in the ranks, and it will only get worse. Later in the race, he nearly runs out of gas. Then, in the front, things take a twist. Whoa, so big. We could have lost Manny. He was, he was having clutch problems on Babysitter. He stomped the three laps in such a fast time, but he pushed the limit on his clutch, maybe. Nearly two hours into the race, Manny Lettenbickler's time lead comes to an end when, unfortunately, his clutch stops working. A massive blow to the three-time Romaniacs champ. Please, baby, please. Oh, blitz in over them rocks. This allows Roman to take over the time lead in front of Gomez, but it doesn't last long. Full tilt from behind is Graham Jarvis and Teo Kabachev. The British legend started 14th, the Bulgarian young gun, 13. And with steady, smart riding, they have now moved into first and second, respectively. They will lead the race into the service point. 
Yeah, I made up some places, but uh, just so dusty and loose. I just got stuck behind. Everybody's getting stuck in the dust at some point. So. But uh, the track's definitely not easier because it's dry. Some places it's worse, it's just digging in. But yeah, happy with how I'm riding. Made a few mistakes, but just uh, keep plodding on. I think I'm going good, so um, I, it could be better, but uh, <laughs> I'm going good. I'm happy. Uh, and I will try to keep pushing and uh, keep this pace until the end. I was fighting with, uh, at the beginning by myself, then I got uh, Alfredo and Tari, then I was able to pass them, and I fight with uh, Alfredo the whole race. Yeah. Then I saw that Manny had to stop to replace the glats, so I'm sorry for him, I hope he can get back on the race. We had some bike issues, like I broke my clutch, I don't know why, because I think I was riding pretty smooth, and then afterwards um, I just didn't get better and um, I had to even change the position of the clutch so I opened it closed it again probably lost about like eight minutes there and then um, I continued for another like let's say 10 minutes up killed them all and then I knew um, yeah the clutch wasn't working that great as the gold pros get much needed sustenance and fuel other classes are simultaneously taking on shorter versions of the course Bronze rider Matthias Wagner is making up for a rough prologue, cruising on his KTM 450 rally all the way to the top of his class. Yeah, bud! Back to the gold. Matthias Wagner's cousin Michael is also faring well, riding faster and faster as the race progresses. He's currently sitting in third. Just behind him is Canadian Tristan Hart. This guy isn't at every race in the series, but when he is there, he shines. Today, he's ridden his way from eighth into fourth. Mario Roman has been riding consistently all day, but four hours into the race, he's losing speed. The heat is taking its toll. But that hasn't stopped 47-year-old Carpathian goat, Graham Jarvis. This guy always seems to have an ace up his sleeve. He will finish in the time lead at the day one off-road. Amazingly, nearly five minutes behind him, it's Teodor Kovacev, and another seven minutes back, it's Tristan Hart. Started like 11th, like uh, a lot of time behind, and I caught some guys up, so just feeling good, so a long way to go. Feeling confident for the next few days. Yeah, I'm quite surprised, to be honest, because I made some uh, mistakes and I had to push my bike, but I assume everybody made <laughs> mistakes. It was a nice day, no problems, no issues some mistakes but overall really happy the team make a big effort to improve the bike every race and uh, I felt very strong during the, the stage and yeah let's keep uh, pushing the rest of the day. Here are the combined overall results after the prologue and one day of off-road riding. Unfortunately due to his clutch issues Manny Lettenbickler isn't in the top 15 and might be out of the points race. It's a devastating turn of events. What does this mean for the rest of his Romaniacs? and the overall championship. If you were hoping for a dramatic first day at Red Bull Romaniacs, you got it. What will tomorrow bring at the riveting Red Bull Romaniacs Off-Road Day 2 here on Red Bull TV?